Hello everybody, welcome back to Building Brick Studios, and today I have another LEGO CG animation tutorial. Um, in this one I'm going to be animating using pads. Um, there are many advantages to using pads over the arrow keys, um, so I'm going to show you those advancements. Alright, so first you're just going to have to open up Blender here. Alright, and then we'll just uh, click X to delete the cube. Um, and first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add curve path. And you're going to see that this little line is going to pop up here. And this is going to be your path. Um, over here, here's the path section, which we'll be later using. Um, path. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, you're going to go into edit mode. And you'll see that all these are like kind of spiny things come out. Um, so you can right click and hold down to drag it wherever you want. Um, and then right left click to set it in place. So you can pretty much make any type of path. You can make it longer by like stretching it around. So, you know, infinite possibilities at what you want your thing to do. So I'm gonna make like a basic kind of like vehicle taking off kind of path. And then when you're done with that, then you just go into object mode again. And uh, now what you can do is you can come over to origin and click origin to geometry. So now it's more centered. Um, and now what you're going to do is you're going to file and you're going to import your file. So I'm going on the 3D Studio files and I'm picking my Republic gunship. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press A to unselect, and then I'm going to press B to box select. First, I'm going to click on a piece, and then I'm going to box select again. Click join. So now they're all one, and I'm just going to rename it gunship. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring the gunship over and you're going to want to line it up the way you want. So you're going to want to line this up. You're going to want to keep going until you see that it's going through the object. And then first you're going to write, first you're going to have the, um, um, object selected so first and then second the line and you're gonna hold shift and then right click to have two and then you're gonna press control P not alt P control P and then you're gonna click follow path and now when you um, <coughs> click play you can see the ship follows a designated path so we'll play that again can see the ship going up a path and you can see if you were to use arrows I'm going to show you the differences public gunship I'm gonna click on a piece box select it then join I'm not even gonna name this one if I was to do that animation without the things, um, it would probably look more like this. I would have to insert location, then I would move it right up to about here. I'm not going to do the exact time. So, okay, right up to there. Insert location. And then I would have to, close up here, then I would have to insert a rotation. And then I would have to quickly rotate it up, insert rotation, and then I would have to use the arrow tools to bring it up, and it would just be a big pain. So you can see that it is much easier using pads. Now you're probably wondering how to adjust the speed and whatnot. I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so if you come over here, um, this tab is now going to be quite useful. You're going to right click on the path 
come on over here underneath the uh, little um, curve kind of tool, and then you're going to see frames. And so obviously the less frames, the quicker it's going to go. So I'm going to set it at, let's see, 25 frames is about right for the speed. Um, and then we can click play, and boom, you can see it's really flying off. Um, so that's the, so it ends at 25 frames. So I'll just quickly render this animation. I'm going to make the ending point 25. And then um, you will notice, let's see here. If I back it up a bit, let's see if the camera can see it. Yes, the camera will be able to see it. So we'll move it over here so that you can see it better. Let's back it up a bit. So yes, all right. Now I'll just bring it back just a bit. All right. Just trying to get it so that we can see the actual image. There we go. Okay, and then what we can do is I'm um, going to go into our render settings here. And we are going to change this to our desktop. We're just going to click on that and then click accept. Um, this is very important. You want to do AVI raw. Otherwise, they'll all be pictures and they'll be pain in the butt. And then you're going to unclick overwrite. And then you're going to go to render, render animation. And now, um, for me, this is going to take no time at all just because um, I have a Macintosh computer. So it does go a lot quicker. Um... So yeah. Alright, so now we come over to our desktop and boom, here's the animation. And it's going to be a very short animation because I have 24 frames per second, so that's like 1.1 seconds. So then um, this is going to pull up. Oops, why did I click that? And then you'll be able to quickly see, boom, the ship goes. You didn't get a full view of that there, but you can see the curve, it looks so much better. So, um, anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If this helped you, um, don't forget to rate, um, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.